All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. Uh, the name of the video is, Have You Heard What Happened to Amber Heard? Uh, no, not really, bro. I, the last time I encountered her was that trial. That trial was wild. I reacted to her, you know, uh, dropping a you neo know, number two on the bed, bro. That was a cool thing, I guess. I mean, some people do things like that. I don't know any of those people, but let's go and check this video out, bro. Let's get into this immediately. When your life is at risk, not only will you take the blame for things, but when you're in an abusive dynamic, right. psychologically, emotionally. And we had tremendous social media that was very, very, very much against Amber. I'll take being called <laughs> any day to being called sweet. You'd prefer that. Absolutely. It's much more fun. As oh, she's still going to get jobs, guys. Against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. She is heartbroken. And one of the first things that she said when she came back was, I am so sorry to all these women. Amber Heard is creating a mess. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty crazy because a lot of them backed you. But, the, but you were not telling the truth. Right. So, so, yeah, that in itself is enough to be sorry in all of these organizations who backed you. But you were not telling the truth. Right. You knew you weren't telling the truth, but yet you still allowed these organizations that help women to back you, making them in return look like fools. Because it's hard to believe all women when they're women like. Yeah. That's in Hollywood again. And it isn't about Johnny Depp this time. Reportedly, her new movie Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom failed at the box office. But the interesting part is that a lot of drama took place behind the scenes. What did she do now? Who is being accused by her? Get ready as we expose the hidden agenda she had in her mind. Aquaman 2 was released last Christmas, but it was a big box office disaster. It got little attention and only made 20. Bro, what are you holding in your hand? Put that down. $27.6 million during. He put that in his mouth. It's first three day weekend. This opening is the second lowest for a DC mm. film, right after the $25 million from Blue Beetle. But why did the fans. Blue Beetle. One's favorite superhero fail miserably. Well, it happened because of Amber Heard. After she lost her case with Johnny Depp, fans protested to fire her. Nearly five million people signed the petition for the producers of Aquaman to remove Amber as Mera. That's kind of fair, as Depp was fired by Disney when Amber first filed a case of domestic violence against him. Mr. Depp, if Disney came to you with $300 million and a million alpacas, <laughs> Nothing on this earth would get you to go back and work with Disney on a Pirates of the Caribbean film. Correct? That is true, Mr. Robinborn. When the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom trailer dropped in September, social media users observed Mara appearing for about two seconds toward the end. Amber was quite disappointed. I'm going to be honest, bro. I, I absolutely liked the first one. Notice I said like, not love, right? But I absolutely liked the first one, okay? Just, I didn't even know there was a second one. She came forward and talked about how Warner Brothers drastically cut her scenes from the movie, and she just had a screen time of 10 minutes. She was quite upset about cutting a specific... Yeah, hopefully they paid you $10. ...fix scene where Mara gives a motivational speech to Aquaman before he goes on a mission with his brother. When the whole situation unfolded, director James Wan jumped into the whole drama and said that fans could never pressure DC to remove a certain character from a film. Every character... Noted. Fans, you don't matter. ...character has its own importance. Amber's character isn't an important part of Aquaman 2 because the sequel focuses on the bromance between Aquaman and his brother Orm. Fans were still hoping that Mera's scenes would be completely removed. Well, the second trailer, released in November, didn't have a single scene of her. Moreover, she was absent from the official film poster. Fans were quite relieved thinking that Warner Brothers listened to them. But the production house had some other plans. When the film was released at the end of December, fans decided to boycott it after they learned that Amber was in the film with 11 lines, grunts, and a laugh. It seems like DC's plan backfired. Yeah, bro, that's way too much. Them. They wanted the movie to be publicly marketed due to Amber's issue and didn't spend a single penny on marketing. But guess what? Theaters were almost empty, and the movie was a complete disaster at the box office. Shockingly, viewers walked out during the test screening of the film. It shows how bad it was. It seems like the film wasn't ready for release, as everyone's attention was centered on Amber. The movie suffered from subpar CGI, editing, and a weak storyline. The entire film gives off a vibe as if it were edited on a laptop rather than a genuine set with humans. It lacks authenticity. 
Audience members who watched the film were puzzled by unnecessary changes in scenes. It felt like James Wan was kidnapped and held against his will while making this film. Warner Brothers needs to understand that the publicity from the whole Amber drama wasn't enough for the film to become successful. Well, this isn't it, as a lot of drama took place behind the scenes. Recently, Amber accused Jason Momoa, James Wan, and Warner Brothers of making fun of her and deliberately cutting her scenes. This is what you get for not listening to your fans. Yeah. According to Amber, Jason used to it. come on set drunk and poked her by dressing up as Johnny Depp. Apparently, she was quite stressed as Jason allegedly asked James to remove Amber from the film. According to a source, all these accusations are baseless that. and fabricated, oh, as Jason was the most <laughs> why are you why are you talking about it? professional person on the set. The person on set said that Momoa enjoys having a beer occasionally like anyone else, and the star does not arrive on set intoxicated. As Amber said, it was further clarified that Momoa has consistently dressed in a bohemian style and is not imitating Johnny Depp's dirty. Right? Like he, he's always clean, but he looks dirty with how he dresses. Basically is what they're saying. I'm trying to translate it. Wardrobe. Moreover, she accused the production house of trying to remove her completely from the film. Apparently, she begged for her role to remain in the film. During her case trials against Johnny Depp, Amber said, I was given a script and then given new versions of the script that had taken away scenes that had action in it, that depicted my character and another character without giving any spoiler away, two characters fighting with one another, and they basically took a bunch out of my role. They just removed a bunch out. Right. I, fight to, I fought really hard to stay in the movie. They um, didn't want to include me in the film. After all such accusations, Great. Warner Brothers executive Walter Hamada said that Amber's role was never cut from the film. The film's second sequel isn't about the love between Mera and Aquaman. Moreover, he talked about how hard it was for the director to create chemistry between them in the first film. The film that, besides the role in the film that she has, was determined in the early development of the script, which would have happened in 2018. After all such drama, it has been revealed that Elon Musk may be why Amber can reprise her role. Yes, you heard it right. A source told Variety that Elon had one of his litigators send a scorched earth letter to the production house, threatening to burn the house down if the actress wasn't brought back for a sequel. Elon and Amber first met in 2016 when Heard married Johnny. They have said they first started dating in 2017, shortly after Amber divorced Johnny. However, Johnny has accused Amber of having an extramarital affair with Elon. Come on, bro. We all know that Elon doesn't give a damn about Amber and her tiny role. If it's right. true, imagine the pressure Amber must have put on Elon to get that role. We don't know why Amber fusses a Not much. about her minimum screen time in the film. She should be grateful that she was given 10 minutes, as we can see that the production house is facing the consequences of a boycott. Moreover, the accusations made by Amber are not true and completely baseless. She expected the production house to give more hype to her character as it was the only important movie she ever did in her career. Fans think <laughs> Warner Brothers are facing karma because they didn't listen to their fans. This is what you get for hiring a liar. What has Amber been doing since losing her case? She was living her best life in 2021, being the brand ambassador of massive brands and getting roles in the biggest movies in Hollywood. But, right, bro, listen, she's not going nowhere. But when her lies were exposed to the world in the, Johnny Depp. the trial, she lost it all. Due to legal proceedings, her financial situation mm -mm. worsened considerably. By the no, summer no, of 2022, no. it became evident that her financial standing was precarious. Surprisingly, she filed for bankruptcy unable to cover the court-mandated penalty in her case against Johnny Depp. In a desperate move, Amber's legal team informed the judge of her inability to repay the obligation. Following the judge's decision, she declared bankruptcy on July 20th and appealed to the Commonwealth of Virginia on July 21st, citing a lack of resources. Struggling, Amber had to sell her property to make ends meet. Okay, hold on, hold on. Definitely not happy that someone is... Is, is broke. Well, keep this in mind. Her broke and like the rest of us regular humans broke is these are not the same. These are not the same brokes, guys. But understand, um, I'm not happy that she's uh, broke in her broke, obviously. But I'm still kind of happy. 
TMZ later revealed the covert sale of her Yucca Valley, California hideaway for nearly $1.1 million, almost double the amount she paid three years prior. In 2019, she attempted to have her insurance companies cover the damages owed to Johnny. Still, this strategy backfired as her former provider, New York Marine and General Insurance Company, took legal action to avoid responsibility for her legal fees and damages in the defamation case. Moreover, Amber has been facing backlash from the public everywhere she went. People used to follow her, and she couldn't walk on the streets without being bullied. Remember that people supported Amber and Johnny equally at the trial start. But when courtroom trial videos went viral, right. her lies were pretty obvious. Yeah, it was the tears. It, it, was, it was completely the tears. It was the acting on the stage. It was too much for us. Guys. She lost all of her respect and fan following. Right now, Amber has been living with her daughter in Spain. According to her, Get out my country. America didn't let her speak freely and the court's decision was based purely on popularity. In Spain, she bought a property for $2 million. According to reliable sources, Amber dedicates daily to spending quality time with her daughter. They leisurely stroll around, explore parks, and indulge in family moments. Amber's life, career, social circle, home, and finances have all experienced significant trouble since her loss in the trial. Additionally, insights from neighbors reveal that her once vibrant social interactions are finished with no noticeable visitors. Living alone with her child in their spacious residence, Amber wants to live a quieter lifestyle until she gets a new film in Hollywood. Michelle, see. Hey, hey, oh, sí. 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 Sigo adelante, ¿eh? Sí. Eso es la vida. Me encanta España, muchísimo. Sí. Te vas a quedar sí. por aquí. Espero que puedo, sí. Sí, me encanta vivir aquí. Chao. Okay, the problem is, yes, Spain is amazing. I love living in Spain. I get that. We're, we're here, right? But I'm telling you, you're toxic. I'd rather you not be in the country I live in, right? Go back to America. <laughs> oh, God, guys. Uh, and also, all of what you did would not work there. So just don't repeat your actions, right? But all right. Moreover, it has been reported that Amber has lived there under the fake name Martha Jane Cannery. Well, the name sounds like a nod to three DC characters. Reports connect this pseudonym to an actual frontiers woman, the Wild West legend, Calamity Please. Jane. Unfortunately, Calamity it's been over Jane. a year since she got to work. After the court trial, production houses aren't comfortable making a new film with her. After the whole Aquaman accusations drama, it would be harder for her to sign a new film. Maybe she could try something that's not on camera. It was also rumored that she was dating filmmaker Bianca Buti, who was also spotted with her in Spain in 2022. However, that rumor was not confirmed by either of them. What do you guys think about it? Does Amber deserve all of this? Why isn't she the same consequences that Johnny faced after losing the defamation trial? Oh, bro, you know, come on. We would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your comments below. Your insights and opinions mean a lot. All right, listen, there are some people who actually live their life, uh, you know, getting constant accountability checks, okay? And then there are some people who basically live life on easy mode. That's why you're, the, that's the answer to your question. Um, he was basically penalized by everyone in the community and in, in the country and in, uh, everywhere, right? Because how dare this man do these terrible things to this this beautiful flower, right? Um, and you're wondering why? And then when you find out that he didn't do it and she was the one, people's brains just, you know, how can that be? That doesn't make any sense. That's impossible. Bro, that's why, all right? That's why. <laughs> um, but all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys actually think. I I pretty much told you mine, my thoughts, guys. Uh, but all right, listen, I'll catch you guys later.